So what's up guys, um, excuse me while I'm eating, uh, but apparently football has become a joke. Now, a lot of you are going to be just thinking that I'm being a whiny, sore loser little, little bitch, but I'm not here to blow smoke up anybody's ass. When I watch sports, I don't just watch sports as a fan. I watch sports from an actual realist perspective. And a lot of you Baltimore Ravens fans or people that are making excuses, um, you're not being realistic. The truth is the truth. And a lot of people, especially that I've talked to on Twitter, have agreed with me. And these are people that weren't even just 49ers fans. These were people that actually either had no opinion on the game at all and were just watching it, or some of them even were Baltimore fans. Some actually even admit were Baltimore fans that did actually admit that the game didn't really go the way it should have. Let's start off. Uh, I'm not going to go th run through the whole thing. But let's just run it through at the beginning. There were two calls. I believe one of them was some sort of pass interference call or something like that earlier. In like the first quarter, there was like two calls on the 49ers that were uh, bullshit calls. Um, and um, so that kind of was should have been a warning sign but then later they get the uh, after all the 49ers get flagged for just about everything you'll notice that there was a few plays on which the major plays mind you Baltimore did not get called on and there was one if you look at the instant if you had looked at the instant replay of one of them ball the um, I'm not sure if it was Ray Lewis or not, but I think it was. One of them had a had as one of my pompous ass uh, uh, Baltimore Raven fan buddies had said, you know, was quote unquote a stiff arm bullshit. It was one of the Baltimore Ravens fans with the ball running out of bounds, but he had a, his hand on a 49ers face mask and he was actually pulling down that that if you don't understand American football is what we call a personal foul face mask penalty which is usually about I think a 10-15 yard penalty I don't know I, I haven't kept updated with the rules in the last couple of years but um, that but essentially that's what happened the, happened the guy pulled down on the face mask but he was not called for it now, a lot of us were yelling about that. A lot of us were were pissed about that. But then a few minutes later in the game, near the end of the game, there is a holding penalty, a holding and and well, holding and pass interference, um, in which uh, one of the guys and and by the way, holding is where you are constantly holding on to the guy, you're not letting him go, you're holding on to his jersey or something like that. And then pass interference was when he was basically holding on to the guy's arm. You know, that when you hold on to the guy's arm or you or you tackle him before he has the chance to make the catch, that's called pass interference. This is the call for pass interference. This is the call for holding. And holding is what is a um Five yards, right? Five, ten, something like that. And then um, pass interference is usually about is usually about a ten-yard penalty. Um, now, what happened is a Baltimore Ravens fan caused this holding pass interference call, um, but they um, are not called because they didn't get called on it. And once again, they they got away with murder. 
That happened a few, in a few instances. Now, I'm not going to say Baltimore didn't to totally get away with everything. The 49ers got away with a few things, too. I, I will admit that with my dying breath. That's why I'm a real. That's why when it comes down to this, I'm a realist. But if you look statistically at the game, the 49ers outplayed the Ravens in that game, or at least they did in the second half. The Ravens played relatively good in the first half. Um, but essentially. When it comes right down to it, the 49ers got flagged for quite a bit more. Some of it, some of it was legitimate, and some of it was just plain off the cuff. And then some, of, and then the Ravens just got away with quite a lot in general. So, you know, again, this is going to be one of those debates where people are going to be, you know, bashing me, saying that I'm whining about it and shit like that, and it's. No, it's the realism part of this whole of the whole game. There was something off about the officiating in this game, as there has been in the NFL for a while. And it's not just this year with the whole referee lockout and all that. This has been happening for a couple of years now. So much is that there's been rumors in the last what year and a half or even longer that that the game has been rigged that you know there's that the mob or something has gotten involved in it that the, the bookies and everything are now getting you know their hands in it there's some you know basically all this this stuff about how basically the game has been corrupted and it's no and it's basically it's basically kind of like how boxing is it's been rigged and it's a joke and it just doesn't matter anymore because the winner's already picked I believe that myself, uh, and personally, I think what where it went wrong is I think it went wrong even before the NFL lockout of 2011. It there's was a lot of issues going on that led to the lockout, and I think there was a lot of thing, and I think I think the NFL resorted to a really low level. And I think what happened, and I think uh, Super Bowl Forty Seven was an example of that. I mean, Super Bowl Forty Seven was had its had its successes and it had its own disaster. The successes, of course, being you know the fact that they had a fantastic halftime show. The disaster was is that a few minutes after the the halftime show, the lights go out in New Orleans. Uh, but then again, everything's still being rebuilt from scratch in New Orleans since Katrina. So, but uh, overall, I'm not gonna really complain and drag this out because it's not worth complaining or bitching. That's why the people that are saying that I'm complaining and bitching because of, I'm bringing this up. No, I'm just being realistic. I'm not complaining at all. I'm, I have. I'm not saying unkind words about anything. I just personally have an opinion that I think needed to be addressed about the Super Bowl and, and about football in general. And uh, I'd kind of like to hear everybody else's opinions. Not not so much about the Super Bowl and who won, who lost, and oh, you're whining about this, and yeah, we're you guys suck, we're great. You know, I, I don't want to hear that. What I want to hear about, what this whole discussion's about, is what your opinion is on the NFL. Do you think it's rigged? Do you not think it's rigged? You know, I, I want overall I want your opinion about the league, not the Super Bowl, not the two teams that were involved. I want to hear what your opinion is about the league and whether or not you think that there's some issues going on. Just just voice your all your opinions about the NFL. And I don't care if you have to write 15 uh, comment things in a row to get your opinion out. Go ahead, I because I will read it all eventually. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Peace.